Let's demonstrate our linked list with the help of an illustration in JavaScript. So that begins with starting with creating a HTML file inside linked list folder which I have created here. So my HTML file will be linked list demo dot html because this is our first example so we'll keep it as a demo example for demonstrating linked list then i'll start with a doc type so my doc type begins over here as html and then comes my html tags and inside this i will specify the head tag first so this will be head tag then comes my meta tag so that is meta cassette as utf8 then comes my title tag so my title tag will have a title like this is demo of link list after specifying the head tag the next section comes is the body tag so here i'll say body and inside body i'll specify the h2 tag which says that this is an example or i can say as first example of link list okay then i'll give the script tag the next thing after h2 tags comes the script tag which says that script and the tag is script tag so i'll enclose the script tag with type and src that is the source so here I'll say my type is text at JavaScript. So this is type text JavaScript and the source that is the SRC corresponds to the JS file. So my JS file will be linked list dot JS. So that's how I created my first example for linked list that is my HTML file. The next thing we need to do is to create this JS file. So I'll just copy paste this particular name and we will create with the same name inside linked list folder. So here I've created my linked list.js file. Now inside this, I will create the associative functions the way we did for queue, for stack, for arrays, the similar format we'll follow over here, where we will create the associative functions for linked list, which involves insertion, deletion, and also printing the particular item. It can include for, for display or it can include for finding a particular item in the linked list. So let's start with it. The first will be the function. So my function, I'll just say as LL list, which means it is a linked list. So this will be my initialization constructor for linked list. Inside this, I'll specify the head tag. So this is this dot head equal to my head tag will be the new node. So it will start with a new node. So this becomes with a new node of initialization and the name is given as head. So this was about specifying the head tag in linked list. After this comes the find tag. So this would be this dot find equal to and find tag is mentioned over here. So that's just for initializing the find of the particular node in linked list. Then after the find operation, the next operation is for insertion. So I'll say this dot insert equal to insert inside the linked list. Then comes the other operations which are remove and display. I'll keep it here like in the same way we did for initialization for insert. So I'll say this dot remove and we are initializing all this under the constructor section. So that is why we are using a keyword called as this. So this dot remove and the next will be this dot display. So we have kept two parameters over here. So I've taken this dot remove and this dot display. So now comes the next parameter is the node element. So I'll say function node and the element name is given over here that is element and inside this i'll specify the element name as the or i can say i will initialize the element name so i'll say this dot element equal to element okay and after this i'll specify the next tag and the next tag will be given over there as the null so my next element or you can say the next item will be initialized with the value as 
null. So I have set the node element. So wherever I say the node element, I will create in this format like this dot head equal to new node. So which is like initializing a particular node in the linked list format. So now I have done with two basic things like initializing the linked list and the associative node for it. The next thing is about the function that is find. So I'll say function find. I'll specify the parameter as item because we'll always have some parameter associated for finding an element. And then we say var current node, current node equal to this dot head. Okay. And after this, I'll say while, I'll call for a while loop where I'll say current node dot element. If it is not equal to the particular item, okay, while the element is not equal to the item till that particular point, like when it achieves that the element is equal to the item, which is mentioned in the parameter of find then automatically your find is successful. But if it is not equal to that particular item, it should move on to the next node. So that logic is written over here. So current node will move to the next node. So that is given as current node dot next. Until and unless we get the match which is satisfied in the parameter of item. So this was about the find logic after finding the node we should return that particular node so i'll say return current node okay so now i specified with the find condition now i'm thorough with the find function after find comes my function which is called as the insert so i'll say function insert and the insert will take two parameters the new element and the item which it will link to it so because it is associated with the linked list we should always specify which item will be linked to the newly created element so i'll say new element comma item and inside item i'll specify where new node equal to new node i'm initializing a new node and the initialized node will have the parameter as new element so this will be the parameter that is new element which you are passing through the parameter section after this comes my variable which is the current node so i'll say var current equal to this dot find and i'll search for the particular item so this will be like finding for the particular item and that would be my current node and after this i'll say new node dot next should be my current node so it should be new node dot next equal to current dot next as i mentioned in the algorithms for inserting a particular uh, node in the linked list we need to follow some set of uh, protocols or we can say some sort of steps so that steps are initialized over here after this comes the next thing that is current node equal to current node dot next so it says that my current node is initialized to the current node value of next so i've done with my function insert after this we need to do is create a function with display so i'll say function display and inside display i'll call for the associative logic for it let's start with creating the display node so that will be var current node and inside this i will specify the display node as this dot head so that is my for head element which would be displayed in the current node and now i'm setting up the condition like inside the while loop so i'll say while not equal to the current node till i get that current node dot next the next value if it is not equal to null so i should check that if the next node is not null which means that my linked list has more than one values so in that scenario, I will print the value. So I'll say print current node dot next. And the next will be the value for element. 
So I'll print that value and then I'll set the variable as current node equal to current node dot next. Okay. So this is for logic for displaying the display functionality like to display the particular linked list. After this comes my initialization with the cities array. So I'll say where cities equal to it's a new linked list. So I'll say new ll list. So this will be my new linked list. Inside this I will insert the city. So I'll say cities dot insert and inside insert I will specify the city name in this way like Mumbai and the value of this would be head okay so this will specify the position after this comes the next thing is cities dot insert the next value comes is some other cities say for example I want to say New York and after that comes the next value as Conway okay and after the next uh, city pair would be insert cities that is cities dot insert with the value as Alma and other parameter as Rusalville okay so I have given all these cities parameters particularly now I will print the cities value so printing or just checking it out in my console pair first I'll check with console.log cities like how it is working so let's go to our browser particularly and check out with this linked list demo first we'll check just printing up with the cities and then we'll use a function in javascript which is like to stringify your json character so that will be json.stringify city so let's have a look in our browser like how it looks now if you'll check on the browser section so this is my link list i'm going inside the link list demo so here i see in this particular format i have just used it as a simple stringify element so every element is like i have element head the next element is with mumbai and after that the next element begins with new york and the next element says is alma and after that it is the null value which gives the proper arrangement of the linked list order so this is like we have printed with the stringify format and the simple format for stringified format we get this particular format but if we just print the particular linked list then just go uh, moving on to our code base so this is my code base where I commented this particular section but if I remove this part and just go to our browser so inside the browser if I reload it I get the list in this format like my head has a particular item and the next nodes are in this manner like next node is element and the next node is new york and after that the next node is alma and after that the next node is null which matters with the format like my link list is ended if i need to add even more elements over here then i will just take this alma as my next list so i'll say cities dot insert and here i will specify the next element would be say melbourne this is the city name and it will connect to the previous element as alma so i have saved this particular format now i will go to my code base so inside my code base i will reload it and once i reload it i get the melbourne element added in the stringified format so this is how linked list gives a particular arrangement like how we get one element so first element for me was head which I initialized and after that my next element was Mumbai but the Mumbai was connected to the previous element with the help of a link so I did mention over here like it would be Mumbai and then comes head and after that comes the next element is New York which is connected to Mumbai city and after that comes the Alma which is the new city I have inserted which is connected to New York with the help of the previous link and after this comes Melbourne which is connected to Alma which is a another set of examples showing up for the 
value like link list have the particular linkage with each other while creating the value so this was about creating a link list the next chapter we will be focusing about doubly link list and after that we will focus about circular link list so basically we will understand the implementation of link list in the various manners so let's move on to our next chapter which is a new concept called as the doubly link list where a functionality is little bit changed as compared to the uh, typical functionality associated in linked lists.